yesterday I uh, came down with a stomach bug. And when I say came down with a stomach bug, I mean at about, I think it was about 10.30 a.m. We were at a Facebook Community Boost event in Greenville, South Carolina, and all of a sudden it just hit me. And I had to run to the restroom at this event. And when I say projectile vomit, like I've, I've never actually experienced that before, but that's what it was. And what, what occurred over the next 24 hours, Yesterday, after about the 30, 35th time I threw up, I just quit counting, uh, got to the point where yesterday I was just dry heaving, um, just nothing left in me. Um, it was just a miserable, it was just, I was freezing cold, but I was sweating and there's blankets on, blankets off, just in bed all day after racing home from that event. But had to get up at four o'clock this morning to head to Los Angeles where we are right now, we're actually in Huntington Beach right now, uh, for an event that I'm keynoting tomorrow. So, after eating absolutely nothing yesterday and throwing up all day long, woke up at four o'clock this morning, got on the airplane. It was probably the roughest flight I've ever, 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 ever been on. Um, TJ slept magically through the entire, entire flight. It was, it was freaking terrible. Like I sweated the entire plane ride here and just my stomach is just messed up. But I had an awesome interview lined up with Christopher Drama Paff and just wasn't gonna miss it. So we ended up getting to the Los Angeles airport, LAX, getting to our rental car, which we rented a sweet G63 uh, AMG G-Wagon for those of you that the light cars and it's sick red interior matte black exterior uh, we get in the car head straight to uh, Beverly Hills uh, to meet up with drama uh, to do this interview and I had been really excited about this interview for a long time uh, big fan uh, of dramas and so we got there and like right when we got there I'm telling you my stomach just started locking up like cramping like I've never experienced ever before um, like nodding up and through the entire interview it was about an hour long interview 45 minutes hour long interview um, great conversation but the entire time I felt like someone was just reaching inside me and just ripping my intestines out it was really really bad uh, but had a great conversation with drama uh, we're gonna be airing that on the vlog tomorrow can't wait for you to see that I was Man, I was just blown away. Um, he is in a extremely good place just mentally right now. I can't wait to see the growth uh, that's gonna come from that uh, over the next few years. And like, like he said, he hasn't made it yet. Um, he's waiting for that made it, uh, that made it point. But he's done incredible things with Young and Reckless uh, and all the other things that he's doing. The podcast, Short Story Long, which is where we actually filmed this uh, podcast. Um, but got done with that and that's when things started getting really bad. So we get back in the car and like, I'm talking about, quite frankly, I've never been in this much pain in my entire life before. Uh, and that sounds dramatic, um, after the meeting with drama, <laughs> that sounds dramatic, but like, I'm talking about, like I was driving and finally TJ was like, dude, you need to pull over and let me drive. And I'm just laying in the car. I'm just like, ah, 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 like my stomach, it was just cramped up and knotted up and just freaking terrible finally got a two and a half hour drive to huntington beach uh, at the paseo resort i wish you guys could see this the sun just went down but the ocean is right there it's absolutely beautiful uh scene this resort's absolutely beautiful here in huntington beach but there's an event going on right now where i'm supposed to be set a uh, set up with a mobile podcast station uh, interviewing people for the podcast that are speaking at the event tomorrow and I just couldn't do it like I am in extreme pain right now um, and we needed an episode to get out tonight and TJ was like we're not we're not gonna not have an episode I'm like I agree and so I'm laying on the bed laying on my stomach I'm like all right what can we do what can we do and we're like all right well let's just go live record that kind of tell people the story of of what's going on but the moral of the story is it would have been so easy to stay back in Greenville after throwing up 40 times yesterday, after waking up at four o'clock with no food and knowing that I had, you know, 10 hours worth of travel to do to get here. It would have been easy once I got here and, and my stomach was starting to cramp up like that to be like, hey, drama, 
not going to be able to make it, knowing that it would be really difficult to reschedule a meeting like that. And it would have been extremely difficult after all that to finally get to the hotel and just want to go to sleep. But you do it anyway. We said that we put out this vlog every day, so we're putting out the vlog every day. I said I would do the interview, so I'm doing the interview. Tomorrow, I'm the very first keynote at this event, Disruptive Innovation, uh, part of the Disrupt Tour here in Huntington Beach, and I'm the very first keynote, keynote kicking off the event. And I refuse to not let that happen all because of something that I couldn't control. Um, so I'm gonna rest up, I'm gonna try to get some sleep, try to get some liquids in me, and then get ready for this keynote tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, all this sickness has kind of sabotaged some of my prep time, but sometimes it's just the way it goes, and it is what it is, and all you can do is make the absolute most of it, and I know come tomorrow I'm gonna absolutely crush this keynote, um, and it's gonna be a great kickoff of what undoubtedly will be an incredible event, uh, many future events to come in this Disrupt Tour. Uh, but we just wanted to come on here real quick out on the patio. Um, I'm literally, as soon as we hit end on this Instagram, Facebook Live, and camera, I'm going to lay right back down on my stomach and do some moaning <laughs> and maybe some trips back and forth to the bathroom. Uh, but like I said, you do it anyway. No one cares. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Not a single person that paid money to come to this freaking event tomorrow cares that my stomach hurt today. I promise you that. Not a single person, not, not a single one of the other speakers that prepared their speeches and keynotes for tomorrow is going to care that, oh, Tyler had a stomach ache yesterday. Like, nobody cares. You just man up, you own it, and you do it anyway. And that's what we're going to do. And I can't wait for you to see the keynote speech that's going to come out tomorrow. It's going to be my best ever, especially given the circumstances. And that's what I love about these situations. So, yes, I'm in a lot of pain. Yes, it's uncomfortable but it gives me the opportunity to rise above. And that doesn't happen every day. So you gotta take advantage of those moments when it does. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Interview from Drama. Next day you'll see the speech from the Disrupt Tour.